So let the sun shine in, I faced it with a grin. Smilers never lose and frowners never win. <laughs> I'm always singing because I'm a happy lady and that's my question for you. Are you happy every day and what makes you happy? And it seems like a rah rah motivational question because a lot of people make out that happiness is something that perhaps is even impossible. And I share that because people sh share with me on a regular basis, right? Well, you can't be that happy. It's unrealistic to be happy all the time. Uh, it's normal to be depressed. It's normal to be angry. It's normal to be frustrated. And interestingly, here's my very personal question. Do you want to be angry? Do you want to be frustrated? Do you want to be miserable? Do you want to be grumpy? Do you want to feel depressed? Surely the answer is no. So if there was a way to feel good all the time, would, it, would you at least want to chat about it? There's my a question that I ask on a fairly daily basis. And or people will say to me, Rowie, if you think it's possible to be happy all the time, how do you make that happen? And this is a very, this is very personal and something that I'm very privileged that I was uh, given, I, was, I overcame the challenge at a very young age and have been able to live my life as a happy person for a very long time. So here's the question. Do you live your life controlled by other people and what other people think? Or are you being you? Is it possible that you get miserable, grumpy, angry, frustrated, annoyed if you are pretending to be somebody else? Or if you're trying to impress other people? Or if you think you need to be a certain kind of person for people to like you? So you live your life trying to please other people, but you never please yourself. Now, there's a lot of questions there. I, I get that. But then comes the ultimate, most important question, who are you? And that's something that I share on a very regular basis and why my life has been so incredibly happy for so long, was that question was asked of me when I was 18 years of age. Rowie, pick five words to describe who you are as a person and then be that person. Live your life as that person. Don't pretend, don't try and impress, don't get offended if people don't like you. Don't get annoyed if people tell you you shouldn't be that person. Just be who you are. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, without, and that's not a quote, that at the end of every day that you look in the mirror, you have to be able to say, I like that person. I respect that person. I appreciate all of those, all the things that that person's done. And I need to live with that person 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for the rest of my life. And I don't know how many years I've got. I don't even know how many days I've got. So I want to make sure that I'm living those days. And I always call call life live to the max. I don't want to be half happy. I want to be always happy. I don't want to be half healthy, fit and strong. I want to be 100% fit and strong all the time. I don't want to have a, a great career half of the time. I want to have a, a career that I love, doing what I love 100% of the time. How about you? And that's why I've been so happy. So let me ask this question. If you were 100% healthy, fit and strong, if you were 100% dedicated, committed and loved your career path or your business, if you were 100% financially free and you had no money challenges because you were so good at your career or your business, and if you only had the 100% of the people that came into your life added value to your life. Now, some people add value because they're beautiful people and they love you and, and respect you and make you feel amazing. I'll rephrase that. We make ourselves feel amazing. They just add value to our lives. But I appreciate the lousy, stinking, rotten, horrible people that come into my life because they make me better, they make me stronger, they make me wiser. So I appreciate everybody that comes into my life. 100% of the people that come into my life add value to my life. So how do you make that happen? And ultimately, it's who are you and be that person. And then don't give a bloody damn what other people think. And I'm so privileged that I've been able to live like that. And I believe that's why I can be happy and the other people that I've met that are happy say exactly the same thing. They've gotten over the fact that there will be people that don't like them. They've gotten over the fact, and I'll rephrase that, if there's seven and a half heading towards eight billion people in the world, how can you expect everybody to like you? You don't like everybody, so why should everybody like you? It's just ridiculous. The question is, do you like you? Do you respect you? Do you like hanging out with you? Do you like looking in the mirror and that person, do you like who that is? And shouldn't that be the ultimate way that we live? I've uh, very sadly today uh, spoken to some people who are dealing with teenagers who not only don't like themselves, but they've become so far not themselves, they don't even want to go out anymore. So what's happened in our world of social media? Uh, we have, and I'm sure it's not just teenagers, 
who have sent out to the world a certain persona, a certain image. So they take a thousand photos and send one great photo out there. There's apps now for your phone and, and apps for all, all the forms of social media where you can change how you look. You can make yourself look skinnier, you can make yourself look more muscly, you can make yourself look perfect in the face because you can take away pimples and, and blemishes. Uh, you can change the shape of your body on some of those apps so that the photos that you send out to the world are not you. So we've got teenagers now, and this is just from personal experience today, who are not going out because they can't. Because when they go out, people won't recognize who they are. If they meet somebody online, they actually can't go and meet them face to face because the person that they've sent out to the world isn't the person that, that the other person would meet. So how can somebody love you? How can somebody respect you? How can somebody know you if it's not even you? If you're at home by yourself and you look in your mirror and you don't like what you see, that the mirror, you can't change that. You can't put a, put a filter on that and make yourself look skinnier and get rid of the blemishes and the wrinkles and, and change the shape of your body. That is you. So if you don't like that person, is it possible that you'll be bloody miserable? So here's my special request. Um, this is my begging position. We, as humans, tend to put a lot of expectation on other people, the way they should look, the way they should dress, the way they should act. Everyone's got an opinion about who you should vote for and what you should believe in and what your political persuasion should be and what's going on in the world, that you shouldn't agree with that group of people and you should agree with that one. There's a whole heap of argument. What about this? Live your life to the max, your max. I'll live my life to my max. I'll be who I am. If you don't like me, that's okay. And if I don't like you, that's okay. Because I like me and you'll like you. So even if you never have anybody in your life, you'll have a great life because you like the person that you are. If you're pretending to be somebody else, nobody can like you because they don't know who that, who that, that's not you. If you're trying to impress other people, if you dress a certain way for people to like you, if you talk a certain way, if you pretend to believe a certain thing, the people that like you for that aren't really liking you, are they? Because it's not you. So who are you? And I always ask these questions. Who are you? What do you stand for? What do you believe in? What would you die for? Respect yourself, love who you are. And if other people don't like that, who gives a flying Ferrari? <laughs> I would love everybody to wake up every day, and I, I use these every day, healthy, fit and strong, a career or business that you love, financially free and only great people in your life. You get to choose all of those things, but ultimately you get to choose who you are. And it's a very simple process, and as I share often, I, I picked at 18 years of age to be tough and fair, positive, stylish, disciplined and professional. It made me lazy on the decision-making process because I don't have to make decisions. I just ask, would a tough and fair, positive, stylish, disciplined and a professional woman do that? If the answer is no, I just don't do it. Would she dress that way? No, then I don't wear it. Would she act that way? No, then I don't act that way. Would she invest time or waste time with those people? No, then I don't do that. I've decided who I am. I'm going to be that person and if other people don't like me, I don't care. What you see is what you get and there's my, my very special question. What people see in you, the image that you put out to the world, the person that people meet, is that you? If it's not you, how can they love you and how can they respect you? And even if they do, it's not you, so it's not really you that they love and respect. And if they don't love and respect you, what's the point? Because if you're not being you, then nobody can love you or respect you. But if you love you and you respect you, who cares what other people think? And that's that beautiful question. Best, isn't it best that I love and respect myself and the whole world hate me, then the whole world loves me, but I don't love and respect myself. So to live your life to the max and to be happy every day, be you, be the real you. Take the mask off, take the pretend off, take the filters off and just be you. So you can sing every single day, because I do and I love it. I feel good, na 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 na. I knew that I would now, na 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 na. So good, yeah, yeah, so good.